गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर रश्मि जोशी सावलकर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जूलॉजी श्री आर एल टी कॉलेज ऑफ साइंस अकोला डियर फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस हियर ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ फाइलम एस्कर मिन्फेस एंड द सिस्टम हियर इज एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम इन एस्करिस लुब्रिकॉडियस दिस इज फ्रॉम द सिलेबस ऑफ सेमेस्टर फर्स्ट एंड यूनिट थ्री so let's see what are the excretory organs of uh, in ascaris lubricoides so let's see first we will study the scientific classification of ascaris lubricoides as in every lecture i give this scientific classification because uh, by reading this in every lecture uh, we, we you all will able to uh, understand or learn the Uh, classification as it is so kingdom animalia phylum nematoda class chromadoria order ascaridida family ascarididi genus ascaris and species is lubricoides there are another more species of ascaris but here we will study the ascaris and species is lubricoides which was invented and discovered by lin in 1758 so this is all about the scientific classification of ascaris lubricoides see here the diagram i have given on the slide on the right side uh, how the human body becomes the host of uh, the ascaris or worms nematodes so this is all about the this is the female ascaris whose tail part is straight and this is the male ascaris whose tail is curved uh, at the posterior end Uh, spicules are present cloacal aperture is present so, so this is the uh, identification for uh, ex from external morphology we can identify the male and female ascaris see here the female ascaris is long or large in size as compared to the male ascaris and uh, how it uh, it how it becomes a parasite in the host body or human beings in the intestinal region so this is that diagram that i have shown here so let's see the excretory system now so excretory system of ascaris the excretory organs are in marine nematodes the excretory system consists of one or two large rennet gland cells see here the excretory organs are rennet gland cells um in the previous uh, phylum that we have studied that is in platyhelminthes in fasciola hepatica the excretory organs were flame cells the structure of flame cells i have shown you which is asked for four marks as a short note in examination that diagram that explanation but in this phylum that is in ascaris or eschelminthes the organs of excretion are uh, the rennet gland cells lying ventrally in the pseudocil pseudocil means body cavity which is which is the false cavity so in on the ventral side in the pseudocil near the junction of pharynx and intestine see pharynx and intestine at the junction of or near the junction of pharynx and intestine in the previous lecture that is in digestive system i have explained you that the digestive system is divided into um, foregut midgut and hindgut so at the junction of foregut and midgut that is at the junction of pharynx and intestine a duct arises from each rennet cell these ducts join and open by an excretory pore midventrally so um, Uh, be careful and write this main important point uh, consider this that pharynx and intestine at the junction of pharynx and intestine these rennet cells are present which forms a duct arises from each rennet cell these ducts join and open by an excretory pore midventrally midventrally the excretory pore is present at the junction of pharynx and intestine which internally forms the ducts of excretory uh, canals ducts or excretory canals so see here the diagram this is the excretory pore see here on the anterior region this is the tubular narrow common canal of um, rennet glands then this is the excretory duct this is the anterior canal which runs in the anterior direction it is the anterior canal these 
this is the nucleus and these are horizontal network of transverse canals so posterior longitudinal excretory canals posterior means in the posterior direction of the body that is uh, uh, near the anus or rectal region these uh, posterior canals runs downwards these exterior uh, posterior longitudinal excretory canals runs downward in the posterior direction which runs upward it is called as anterior canal and which runs from the left side it is the common canal which opens outside by the excretory pore in on the ventral surface here nucleus is present and here transverse canals are present network of transverse canals are present below which it divided it is divided into two lateral parts which runs in posterior direction and those are called as posterior longitudinal excretory canals so this is all about the excretory system in the uh, ascaris now let's see there is much evidence to support the view that from this glandular system arose a tubular excretory system which is like an h alphabet see here the structure complete structure is like an capital h alphabet with two longitudinal excretory canals connected by a bridge the transverse canal from which arises a common excretory canal these are the transverse canal which forms a bridge between the two lateral longitudinal excretory canals and which runs upward in the left direction to form a common canal and which opens outside by a pore called as excretory pore and this is the transverse bridge in which the transverse canal network of transverse canals are present so the transverse canal from which arises a common excretory canal leading to an excretory pore now in ascaris lubricoides this there is a longitudinal excretory canal in each lateral line the anterior limbs of the h are reduced see here the anterior limbs are somewhat reduced as compared to the posterior canals so the anterior um, Uh, limbs of the h are reduced and the transverse canal in is branched to form a network from which arises a short common excretory canal to open by a minute ventral excretory pore just behind the lips so this is the common excretory pore uh, just behind the lips now the canals are more developed on the left side see here on the left side the canals are very much developed as compared to the right side see the comparison in the diagram on the right side the canals are more developed on the left side than on the right side the canals are lined by a firm membrane and covered with a layer of cytoplasm these canals are lined by a firm membrane and covered with a layer of cytoplasm they are intracellular excavations in the single giant cell whose nucleus lies on the transverse canal see here the nucleus lies on the transverse canal on the left side the excretory system has no internal openings cilia flame cells or nephridia no any cell from this uh, of this type like cilia flame cells or nephridium are absent here the excretory system has no internal openings in the ascaris now how the excretion takes place what is the physiology of excretion in ascaris so let's see excretory physiology of ascaris lubricoides is very poorly understood however the nitrogenous waste chiefly comprises urea which diffuses in the pseudo silomic fluid in the pseudo silomic cavity you know, inside the pseudo silomic cavity the nitrogenous waste chiefly comprises urea which diffuses in this cavity the excretory canals are said to secrete this urea which is eliminated through the excretory pore these uh, excretory canals that means the lateral longitudinal canals posterior longitudinal excretory canals the anterior canals the transverse network canal all these canals uh, secretes the urea which is eliminated through the excretory pore which is poured out or excreted out through the through this excretory pore some ammonia and urea 
आर ऑल्सो पास आउट अलॉन्ग विद द फीकल मैटर अलॉन्ग विद द फीकल मैटर ऑल्सो सम पार्ट ऑफ यूरिया एंड अमोनिया इज एक्सक्रेटेड आउट थ्रू द बॉडी ऑब्जर्वेशन आर ऑल्सो देयर टू सजेस्ट दैट एस्केरिज लुब्रिकॉइडिस एक्सक्रीट्स मोर यूरिया वेन वॉटर इज स्कैर्स वेन वॉटर स्कैरसिटी वेन देर इज नो वॉटर एम्पल अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर इन साइड द बॉडी ऑफ दीज नेमेटोड्स देन एक्सेस अमाउंट ऑफ यूरिया इज एक्सक्रीटेड आउट थ्रू द बॉडी सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम Uh, which is a very short system in uh, this Ascaris lubricoides, but it was important to explain you that what is the excretory system and what are the organs of excretion here. So rennet cells are the organs of excretion in Ascaris. The uh, simple structure, H-shaped simple structure, is there. And the physiology, I have also explained you in which urea and ammonia is excreted out through the excretory pore. and some amount of excess of ammonia and urea is also excreted through the through the fecal matter so this is all about the excretory system of ascaris so friends it is very simple i think you all understood it very well and till the next lecture thank you thank you everyone